During this crisis, one of the things that happens is there are patients who have had surgery previously that are currently in hand therapy or occupational therapy. There are also some patients which have had emergent conditions during this uh, emergency um, that have had surgery and are also in therapy or going to therapy. So the question is how do you get hand therapy where there's so much limitation uh, regarding uh, appointments? And you definitely can have hand therapy, particularly at our site, uh, ATI hand therapy is still open and available. Now, the number of appointments is decreased. We have to space out uh, patient visits so that there's uh, actual distance, um, but also there are telemedicine appointments that are available. And this is important to realize that a lot of what the therapists can do is that they can instruct you on what you can do at home so they can show you uh, over the telemedicine visit exactly what needs to be done and they can check your progress. So there are a few different ways that we can do this, but the bottom line is you still have to continue on your uh, therapy regimen in order to get the benefit of the surgery that you've had. And so I don't want you to stop and I don't want you to think that uh, you know these treatments will stop. It's definitely going on, it's just that we have to space it out in terms of the physical uh, visit and also we can supplement that with telemedicine and uh, help out in that area as well. So it can definitely be done.